Hi, I'm Jonathan Arujo. I'm from Enfield, Connecticut, and I'm a sophomore here at Enfield High School. I'm currently enrolled in the physics class here at my school. This is my teacher, Mr. Moore. Hi, glad to be here. I chose to take this class because in the future, I plan to pursue a career in STEM. Transportation is extremely important in our everyday lives. Without physics, we wouldn't have this convenience. There are many different aspects of physics that allow transportation to function the way we are used to in our communities. Let's check out how those same aspects of physics used in transportation allow my Rube Goldberg machine to complete its task. This is my Rube Goldberg machine. It's all about transportation of people and delivery of goods, which are very important concepts in today's ever-changing world. I'm sure you've seen the trend. The number of people who use online delivery services is increasing day by day. The infrastructure for the shipment of these goods needs to work in unison with that of people commuting. We see that throughout the machine, there are different modes of transportation playing different roles in the parts of the Lunchable getting to their destination safely and in the right order. Some modes exhibited in my machine are electric cars that get their power in different forms, planes, construction equipment, and trains. In the machine, there is a portion of time during which two methods of item delivery are running simultaneously. They make sure that they deliver their parts of the Lunchable at the correct time so that it is built in the correct order. This shows that it is important for those driving the vehicles to have great communication which is represented by these dominoes. They are the connection of communication between the yellow slot car and the red pullback truck. Without them, communication would not occur and the cheese would not be delivered. It is important to investigate solutions that will be able to provide us with cost and energy efficient transportation that is ecologically safe. And so, it is up to us to create new and innovative ways of shipping and transportation that can safely and effectively work together to get the job done. Thanks for watching.